And now we're going to cover CMYK separations in Photoshop. Okay, here we are in uh, Adobe Photoshop, which is uh, one of the most popular softwares for uh, printing a spot process. And uh, there's a lot of different versions of Photoshop that we'll find within our industry. It can start anywhere from Photoshop uh, 5.0 all the way up to Photoshop CS3. Uh, and Photoshop is probably the most common software um, to do CMYK separations. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, help you here in setting up the uh, settings for CMYK printing. And uh, first thing we're going to do is we're going to go over to Edit. And then we're going to go down to Color Settings. And the first thing we're going to change is the settings. We're going to select Custom. Uh, next, we're going to go down to RGB. We're going to go ahead and select Apple RGB. We're going to go down to Spot and change the dot gain to 30%. Then we're going to go over to CMYK and then we're going to select Custom CMYK. So in this new screen, we're going to go ahead and go to Ink Colors and then we're going to select uh, Swap Newsprint. Um, swap Newsprint, the reason for that is because it's the closest to uh, a textile substrate that we can get to in Photoshop and the reason why we select this. Uh, we're going to go over to dot gain, uh, make sure it reads uh, standard and we're going to go to and we're going to increase that to 35 uh, percent. We're going to go to black generations, make sure uh, we select light there. Uh, the black ink limit, we're going to go ahead and change that to 85 percent. And then the total ink limit, we're going to go ahead and change that to 250. Press OK. OK. And now we're all set up to print CMYK. Now CMYK, you will have to uh, make some adjustments uh, in the colors depending on the ink manufacturer that you're using. So please, uh, you know, make your adjustments as necessary. Okay, once we have changed our settings for CMYK printing, uh, we can now open our image. And here we have an image open of uh, Seattle, which uh, is a photograph. And... Uh, on the right hand side what you're going to see is you got your channels. Uh, right now it's set up as uh, RGB. Um, for CMYK printing and to do the separations into CMYK we're going to have to go up to image uh, mode and then we're going to have to change the RGB over to CMYK to give us the CMYK separation. Over to the right you're going to see again underneath channels now that it's been separated into CMYK. Um, first one being the actual uh, image and then the last four being the separations into CMYK. Uh, what we're going to do is go ahead and select one of them just to show you where you have to go to adjust the colors if you need to adjust colors. Um, what we're going to do is we go over to image, adjustments, and then over to curves. And in curves you're going to get this straight line across the box and you're going to be able to move that around. And uh, a very uh, common um, shape that people like to go after is called an S curve and uh, th that's pretty common but with the settings that we have right now we're pretty it, it prints pretty well on the newsprint setting but just in case you need to make any adjustments I wanted to show you this okay now that we've uh, concluded uh, CMYK separations we're gonna go ahead and uh, move on and uh, show you uh, one of the separations programs that I'm the most comfortable with and feel is uh, very simple to use. And uh, this separation program is called Spot Process. Uh, it's been around for quite a few years and uh, has become very, very popular here in the recent years because of its uh, pricing. And um, this separations program, basically what it does is um, separate the colors in spot colors instead of using CMYK, where CMYK is more of a translucent ink, uh, we're going to go ahead and use PMS colors. And what I like about this software is if you design your artwork in, uh, this software works best with TIFFs and EPS files. And uh, my favorite is TIFF because it's the easiest to work with. And what we're going to do here is we're going to go over to File, Open TIFF. We're going to select our document. And in this uh, example here, I have a TIFF of, that's called Motorhead. So I'm going to go ahead and open this file. And the nice thing about this software 
and the reason why it's one of my favorites is it pretty much does everything automatically for you uh, at the minute that you open the file or select the file. If you notice, we just opened this file, and on the right-hand side, all the channels are there already selected. And uh, I have my little cheat notes here uh, with me that uh, basically help me uh, make some adjustments on the colors, which is pretty easy. Um, for example, here on the white base, uh, if I double-click on the white base, what I want to do on the white base, I want to darken it a little bit. So I want to move this down to about 80, 80%. Okay, and if I deselect, press OK, I'm going to go ahead and deselect these colors. So now it's showing me the base. So let me go ahead and uh, double click on that again and show you the difference. Um, if I put it higher, it's a little bit lighter, and then we can go darker, makes it a little bit brighter. So what we, we're, the target that we're going for is 80%. That's a, a very good underbase for this particular design. Uh, from here, we're going to go ahead and, and uh, do the same thing with the colors. All the colors, we want to make sure that we darken them to about um, and we'll do them one by one. We'll darken them to a percentage of 65 to 70. So let's just use uh, 70 for now. Click OK. Okay, so that's your red there. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and select the blue and do it one more time and show you. And we're going to do this with all the colors. Okay, so that's the blue there. Maybe that's not a good example. Let's, let's see the gold. Um, okay, let's try the gold. I'm going to go ahead and darken that. Go to about 70%. And you're going to see that pop. Okay, so this is a pretty uh, standard uh, setup for this. Once you have gone through all the colors, and the nice thing about the separation, um, you can choose, pick and choose how many colors you want to use. You're not limited to or, or need to use all the colors. If you need to cut it down to about six, seven colors, you can also do that by uh, choosing maybe uh, two colors that are not being used. Uh, the blue could be a very good example. There's not much too, blue, too much blue going on here. Um, and maybe the turquoise. You can see there's not much of it. So you can combine those two colors together to be, make one color, just to give you a quick example. Um, now from here, once you have made your proper adjustments, we will go over to uh, File, and then we're going to do a Save As. Okay? And you want to save it on your desktop or whatever folder you normally save your designs. And you want to uh, put name it. I'll put a motor test, and then we're going to go ahead and save it. Okay, this uh, software will automatically create it. What we what they call a DCS file, and uh, basically it's an EPS file. Uh, EPS meaning a, EPS will actually open um, in the majority of your graphic software, so it's a very uh, friendly format to save your files. And, but this software will automatically do that for you.